this weather guy is talking about the forecast on the air. And uh, he says, we have a cold front coming out of Canada. The problem is he didn't use the word front. He used a word that rhymes with front, that is a fairly offensive word. And his eyes got as big as saucers. He said, I didn't mean to say, I meant to say front, not. News director just kind of took a cigar out of his mouth again, said, Roker, go back up to school, get your clothes, you're doing the 11. My first big break happened in, I'd say, May of 1974. Uh, I was a sophomore in college at uh, SUNY Oswego. So I was doing anything to, to pay the bills. I worked at uh, a local radio station, WSGO in Oswego, New York, which was in Radio Park. Radio Park was a trailer that was next to pollution abatement. Pollution abatement was a plant that burned toxic waste. So I'm in a trailer getting $3.15 an hour playing uh, uh, Al Hurt and Montavani records because it was easy listening. And I'm breathing in I don't know what. I'm surprised I haven't had a third arm pop out somewhere. I had taken a, a course in uh, television performance and my department chairman, a guy by the name of Dr. Lewis B. O'Donnell, literally, this is a true story, he said after my first attempt at on-camera stuff, he said, Roker, you've got the perfect face for radio. But this, this is the same guy who, about six months later, put me up for a job uh, at the television station he worked at. He worked at, uh, w, then it was called WHEN-TV in Syracuse, New York. Now it's WTVH, uh, the CBS station. The news director came to him and said, look, we're, we're going to start doing, on the weekends, four uh, news broadcasts, uh, 6 and 11, and we need to get a, a weather guy and a sports guy. Got any kids up there at school that you like? I got the job uh, because, as the news director, Andy Brigham, later went on to say, I can only afford a drunk or a college student uh, because they were paying $10 a newscast. So I was going to be making 40 bucks a weekend. So that was kind of the first break. I mean, I, I'm a junior in college and I'm working on TV, figuring I'll just do this until I can get a real gig because I didn't want to be on TV. I wanted to be a producer or a director or a writer. And a year into it, there was a weekday weather guy at the station that nobody particularly liked. Uh, and I would come down on Friday to get my paycheck because I was kind of living paycheck to paycheck. Anyway, I was wearing my overalls, a flannel shirt, my regular outfit for school. The news director, Andy Brigham, would always stand in the control room during the news. And we'd all gather in there, watch the six o'clock news, and then we'd go out. This weather guy, whose name uh, will, he'll remain nameless, is talking about the forecast on the air. And uh, he says, it's going to be a really frigid weekend this weekend because we have a cold front coming out of Canada. Uh, the problem is he didn't use the word front. We all just stopped breathing in the control room. And the news director, uh, who would always smoke a cigar, said to no one, this was before the day of IFB, he said, whatever you do, you jerk, don't stop. Don't stop. Uh, he was suspended for two weeks, never came back. I got the Monday through Friday job. And that is how I got my big break. My advice to anybody getting into this business is don't just do one thing. Do as many things as possible. I produce television shows, I write books, I've done radio. I love uh, working. You know, I, look, I'm from the Caribbean. If you've, uh, if you've only got two jobs, you're slacking. Make sure you're as diversified as possible uh, because you never know when one thing's gonna fold. And it also helps to, uh, you know, look, don't be a jerk, okay, because you know, uh, you, especially if you're on your way up, uh, because you've got to always come down. And uh, you're going to see others probably on the way down that you were a jerk to on the way up. I, can, I, can, I could give you examples, but I won't, because you know, then I'd be a jerk. People have always asked, is that your dream job? And I said, no, because I never thought about being on the Today Show. I mean, it just, the idea that I got the job doing weekend weather at WNBC, I thought, I'm done finished. This is fantastic. Which is why I always say to people, you know, you can have all the plans you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I mean, you can, you got to be prepared. You got to be ready when the opportunity strikes. But I know a lot of people that I've worked with who are far more talented and a lot better looking and, and, you know, they didn't get the gig, but be ready and don't be a jerk.